Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Please subscribe. In 2023, I'll be doing a full tip series on seed starting indoors. Today, we're going to talk about watering. How do you effectively water and what are the real keys that you look for? Number one, you don't water based on frequency. You water based on the plant's needs. When plants are smaller, they're just germinating, of course you're going to have to water a lot less frequently. As they get larger, like the peas down there, they're going to be need they're going to need to be watered much more often because the plants are larger, they use water more quickly. The whole key to watering is trying to do it on a routine, simply, but basing it on the needs of the plants. I'm going to show you a mistake that I made with my lavender. Lavender plants don't like to stay soaking wet and the plants are dying off. First thing is I always water from the bottom. I fill the tray about a quarter of the way let the water wick up from the bottom and I just watered my plants and you can see we'll go over this a little bit more detail how dark the starting mix is that's key number one when your starting mix is really dark just like that it's well saturated that means you don't need to water again you're going to wait for the starting mix to go from that dark color right there and in the back let's just sneak around here you can see how much lighter the starting mix is. That's your first clue that you're going to need to water. Let's talk a little more about that. The main mistake people make is overwatering their seed starts. They just don't want the soil to stay wet 24 seven. So right in here, you can see how this is nice and light. It's beginning to dry. If we dig down, you can see that there's moisture down there. You have to understand that these cells, the starting mix, always dry from the top down. So as the top becomes this light color, so if we can see the difference, just like that, dark to light, it's beginning to dry. You have several days on larger cells like this, maybe one or two days in smaller cells before that water dries all the way down at the bottom. So the root systems are still getting water down there. That's important because you do want this surface to dry for a day or two, sometimes a little bit longer if it's a bigger cell. The drying on the surface reduces fungus growth, reduces mold growth, uh, can reduce fungus gnats from being a problem. You really want this top to dry out. So when it turns that light brown color, depending on the size of the plant in the container, somewhere within one, two, three, even four days, you're going to have to water and that's when we're going to water from the bottom. I'll talk more about that in detail, but you can see how dark this is. These were just watered and it works really well. Now a good way to also think about watering is how heavy is the container. When this is fully saturated, it is heavy. So when you're first setting up your seed starts, maybe fill this with a starting mix that is mostly dry, pick it up. That will give you a sense of when you know it's fully dry there's no water in there once you water it from the bottom you pick it up you're going to see you're going to feel actually how heavy it is and you can use that as a way to judge whether or not your plants need to be watered let's talk about the mistake i made and then talk a little bit more about how you bottom water here are some of my flats the flats do not have holes in it i simply again fill the flat to about a quarter of the way all the way across the flat, let these soak up water. In 20 or 30 minutes, all the water should be soaked up. So any containers you put in here need to have holes on the bottom. After 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever's not absorbed, you're gonna to need to dump out. But with practice, you get it down pretty well that you put in you know, the amount of water that your seed cells are going to pick up. Now these are larger six pack cells. I grow complete plants in here. You can find these at my seed shop, and I said complete plants. I grow full-size plants in here, so I can leave a tomato seed start in these larger ones for a longer period of time. If you don't want to pot out picking up these larger cells, it's great. I also have the smaller cells. You can see all the algae that's growing on here because I made a mistake, and that mistake is killing off some of my true lavender. Lavender doesn't like to be soaked, and I was moving plants around. This ended up in here where I have containers that had larger plants um, and more cell space, and I forgot about this guy, and it just stayed soaking wet. You want it to look a little bit more 
like the rosemary over here where it's starting to dry off at the top getting light brown and you're not overdoing it with the water all that soaking water has caused the roots to rot have caused problems you can see the plants are dying off and now I'm just letting it dry your plants are going to need to be bottom watered at different times it's all going to depend on the size of your plants how warm your house is how warm the grow lights are and you definitely want again to let that top dry out. this is already dark you can see some of the drying in the corners algae is not necessarily bad I have a lot of that it's just in my water system and by being under the lights for 12 14 hours algae forms but letting everything dry soil wise does make a difference with consistent watering letting the top dry letting the starting mix dry out watering from the bottom and just keeping an eye on how the cell soil the starting mix is drying out and then just by judging by the weight you can figure out a better way to water your plants more consistently without overwatering them and these are pepper plants that are in the larger containers they actually went in on October 24th in case you're watching this video in real time it's too early to plant peppers here in Maryland zone 7 but these are for props so as you get closer you can see that the cell is a little bit darker there water wise it's saturated you wouldn't want to water when your plant looks like this as it progresses to the lighter color on top you know that it's beginning to dry out and somewhere between you know one two three four days again it's based on the cell size you're going to want to water from the bottom and you can see that doing this process or just kind of following these principles these plants are really healthy that is the easiest way to water when you're watering in I'll talk more about fertilizing in future videos on, on the tips uh, series for 2023 if you want to subscribe when you're watering in your plants if they need to be fertilized you just substitute in some water soluble fertilizer thanks so much for watching and again please subscribe I'll be doing an entire series on starting seeds indoors starting the seeds outdoors and just getting transplants ready for your 2023 vegetable garden thanks so much for watching please check out my seed shop at the rustedgarden.com and one of the big tips is really let the top of your starting mix dry up and look like it's a bit lighter than the rest of it. That's how you know watering is going to have to happen at some point. Thanks for watching.